What is type 2 diabetes? Hannah and John share their stories. We may have heard of type 1 diabetes and are now curious about type 2 diabetes. Well, knowing everything there is to know about such situations should help you avoid them better. Right? Mm-hmm. So let's listen to Hannah and John talk about their experiences with type 2 diabetes before we continue to explain what it's all about. I'm assuming you're here with notes and popcorn too. I kid you not, let's start. John's story. John Brassfield. He suffers from type 2 diabetes. When he stopped drinking and smoking after turning 45, he developed diabetes. He was examined by the business nurse and doctor. John, you're gushing sugar, the doctor stated. Really? he exclaimed. He just finished his coffee, and although he was cracking jokes, John went to the doctor, and the doctor informed him that he has diabetes. Now, John's whole perspective on himself and how he was living had to change. Every aspect of John's dietary habits, his entire perspective had to change. And this is what made him into the joyful John he is today. Wow, I didn't know about all of the foods, carbs, and calories until I learned about carbs, John said. Popcorn is one of John's favorite foods. They told him to cut back on butter, and John replied, Yeah, I can just eat all the popcorn I want. John really does enjoy eating vegetables. He attended a diabetes class and was already eating a lot of the vegetables that they advised to eat. Lots of vegetables, little meat. Every minute, John was on the go because of his grandkids. He loved strolling, and that's the most crucial activities, which is walking and exercise. The doctors assisted him in controlling it as long as he followed their instructions. Now it all had to remain under control. Without instruction and discipline, it would have failed. John wouldn't be present, and anyone who believes that they can survive without medical team is mistaken. You might need assistance if you become ill occasionally too. Doctors in medicine is there to help us after all. Give them a call if any issues arise, even if it appears to be a minor issue. Making a big deal out of a small issue is preferable to ignoring it and allowing it to develop into something significant. John visits the doctor once every six months, and they thoroughly examine his blood and urine, keeping him performing at a high level and on task. And John's very content. He's never felt happier in his entire life. Hannah's story. Hannah Dion is my name. My type 2 diabetes was discovered about six months ago. It came as a bit of a shock to me, but I'm getting over it and moving on. My fasting readings were a little bit above, so they performed a blood test on me as a part of a routine checkup, which I don't think I'd ever had before. Then they became aware that it was slightly raised. I exercise frequently, eat well, and am active at work. However, my weight has been steadily increasing, so that undoubtedly plays a role. I used to work out a lot. Frequently, I counted calories and protein, but I'd never done so with carbohydrates. Although I can count things, I'd never done anything similar. The carb options are something I'm glad I discovered. I hardly eat bread these days, and I won't eat a lot of bread if I do eat out. I'll remove the sandwich's top and toss it, or I'll remove the largest piece of bread and toss it, leaving me with the meat and vegetables alone. I don't go to the gym as frequently as I once did. I used to go all out and simply lift the most weight I could. I've increased my cardio. Maybe four days a week I go for a walk. I probably hadn't played volleyball in 12 years, even though I used to play it frequently. I recently started playing again after meeting some new women at work, and I'd forgotten how much I loved it. But now, we buy a lot more vegetables when we go grocery shopping. There's a lot of food and sweets I like there because my son, daughter, son's girlfriend, daughter's boyfriend, and grandchild now live with us. It's all there, so I'm extremely happy with myself for not sliding off. But they're on me, and having their support was one of the things that helped me get that under control. I want to watch my development grow in person. That provided drive and motivation to live. 
I had no idea how to count carbs without consulting a package before taking this lesson. You aren't really aware of how many carbs are in your food, and I would merely unconsciously carry out those actions before. There's an iPhone app I use that allows you to enter a certain restaurant, view its menu and carb count, and decide what to eat. Now that it's more prevalent, everyone's learning about it, and it's become way more informative. I won't claim that it's simpler, but having it now is preferable. There are better medications available, grocery stores to help you, and there's more food available. My advice is not to panic when you first receive it. Be kind to yourself. It's a regular occurrence. I'm aware that diet plays a big part, yet you have that in the back of your mind. You can do it, I'm sure. Now, what is type 2 diabetes? Type 2 diabetes is a metabolic disorder that causes sugar in the form of glucose to accumulate in the blood rather than being used as fuel by the cells in your body. When we eat food, it's broken down by our digestive system into nutrient molecules that are then absorbed through our digestive tract for use by the body. Foods containing carbohydrates, or various sugars, are broken down into glucose. Glucose is an important source of fuel for many organs in our body, but to be able to use the glucose for fuel, the glucose molecule must first enter the cell. The pancreas produces insulin, a chemical messenger essential for the entry of glucose into cells as the blood glucose levels rise after a meal of insulin is released into the bloodstream and sets the process in motion. In type 2 diabetes, the pancreas is unable to produce the higher levels of insulin required to prompt these resistant cells to take in glucose from the bloodstream. The most noticeable symptoms of diabetes are frequent urination and excessive thirst. Insulin resistance is the condition in which the cells become resistant to insulin and ignore its message to absorb glucose. Symptoms include weakness, drowsiness, and blurred vision. These are caused by chemical imbalances in the blood related to high levels of blood glucose. About 1 in 4 people with type 2 diabetes are unaware that they have this disease. High blood glucose damages the blood vessels, which can damage the organs that these vessels supply, leading to a variety of health complications. Small or micro blood vessel damage can cause vision problems, including blindness, nerve damage, and kidney disease. Damage to larger or macro blood vessels can lead to cardiovascular complications such as heart disease. Stroke and poor blood circulation and overweight and inactivity are major causes of diabetes. A family history of diabetes significantly increases your risk of developing the disease. Finally, some medications, particularly corticosteroids, diazide diuretics, drugs used to treat some mental illnesses, and some antiretrovirals, used to treat HIV infection may increase your risk of developing type 2 diabetes. To summarize, type 2 diabetes is a metabolic disorder that causes sugar in the form of glucose to build up in the blood. Type 2 diabetes can cause a number of health issues if it's not detected and treated in a timely manner, rather than serving as fuel for our body's cells. So, I hope we were able to learn a lot from this story and get a glimpse of what type 2 diabetes is all about. If you want to hear more stories like this, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment with your thoughts and share this video. Thank you very much for listening to our stories.